Ma'am, can you tell us more about um, Get That Gadget promo? Oh, it's a Yeah. Okay. So, the Get That Gadget promo is basically a promo which uh, encourages our clients to use the, the channels, the different channels that we have to pay their bills. So, it's uh, much safer than going to probably to a physical pay, payment center. So, it will give you more time to spend for more important things like being with your family or going on a vacation or just like sleeping or resting, which is kind of important for us nowadays. Okay. Uh, anything new with the BPI 24-7, like the website or the application as of now? Did you make certain updates or um, have you created another uh, another app or additional features for the applications? I think the last, the last change we had on the mobile was uh, last year, uh, the early this year, when we paired. It's not a change in the system okay. itself, but rather a change, a change in the way that we are able to get our customers to use the app because we have paired up with Globe uh, recently, right? For uh, access to the to the app without having to rely on a, a Wi-Fi connection or on a data plan. Um, and that was to run for a certain period of time. Now. Okay, but are you considering to have it again since uh, it is convenient for users since they can use it on their phones even without using or consuming their mobile data? I think that's something that they are going to have to look okay. at what the experience has been. So that's, in, that's being evaluated. Right okay. Now. And uh, I believe last year you, you had also a promo uh, for travel when you're paying the bills, right? The get out more from yeah. Yeah, the twice, right? yes. we have to run for that. However, we wanted to make it a little bit different, to make it more exciting because people nowadays are very uh, interested in getting gadgets. So we made this um, get that gadget promo. Okay. What what are some improvements you had like from last? How did you improve now from the previous? Uh, you know, we had a lot of these uh, you know um, offerings you've had, what makes this one, if ever, better than your previous ones? Well, in terms of earning points, uh, I think right now we're going down to the US, I think it is higher than before. And we had to evaluate if our clients still want uh, travel in prices. So we thought that uh, we did a big survey and we were told that they'd be more interested at this time. They'd be more interested with gadgets. So that's why we chose to have a gadgets growth at this time. Uh, anything you want to add on like security? Is there any improvements? Uh, security questions? Um, is there anything you'd like to comment on? Uh, you know, the safetyness of paying? Well, uh, our channels remain uh, secure. No? Uh, we, we deploy uh, best practices in terms of security. Uh, we, we, we are in fact even able to trace in case you have questions in your bill. Your bill we are able to trace where the, what bill was paid and for what so far, we have a very good record in terms of uh, security on our online and mobile. It would be fast to um, pinpoint if there is a problem. You can easily trace where the glitch was. Okay, and BP recently celebrated its 163rd anniversary. So, uh, any highlights from? Uh, any highlights from the anniversary and what are we looking forward for uh, before the end of the year and probably of course the coming years? <laughs> Bring them out at the appropriate time. <laughs> but, but yeah, we're 
looking at the customers and what they do. I guess the question will always be right now with the security, so maybe if that could be always hype, whatever, you know, always put that the priority uh, answer addressing this, you know, yeah, people that's get true. to put their cash right on the area. Our channels, you know, uh, when you enter, we make sure that, you know, we check the client, the, the person enrolling is the person he claims to be. So we deploy multi-factor authentication with the client. Sa enrollment pa lang walang fraud. Airtime. Airtime. So in terms of, so enrollment has to be airtime. And then our, uh, uh, the payments, for example, the bills payment, uh, we require you to have a reference number so we're able to track the bill that you pay. So we're able to raise it back to whoever made the payment. For transferring funds naman, we require the client to nominate the accounts or the third party accounts that you want to transfer to. So you cannot just you know transfer to anybody unless you you, you require you, you, you request for them. Uh, any promos or news updates for Christmas since we are in the Burr months now? We haven't thought of Christmas, but well, yeah, again, it's Christmas now. Christmas gift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you didn't get it in September, then it's a very Christmas gift. And in the, in the, other, the other areas of the bank have already started to uh, bring in some of their ideas for the Christmas season. Uh, I think very shortly we're going to do something on the investment side that is uh, similar to the real thrills in the past. So things that we're uh, hoping to be able to do on the other side of the bank. Uh, on the security side, uh, just to add to what Carlo was saying, uh, I think if you look at the history of the bank, uh, it is important to know that none of the security issues that have arisen in the past have come about because of security in the system. Mm. It's all been physical, okay. right? Yes. Even the ATM, that's physical, <coughs> especially yes. ATM. That's all physical, and it has happened throughout the industry. But on the system side, nothing has really come about because of system issues. And so uh, I think that that's something that people need to understand. The physical is where we as customers have a role to play about you know, making sure that our, our uh, the things that we have, the things that we own are actually protected. And that's why we always remind people, for example, on the ATM side, you know, regularly change your PIN because you don't know, right? And you use them. You use ATMs here and abroad, and that's always open to uh, breaches, right? Uh, the other thing is we've also amplified our own physical security practices. Uh, such as putting in 24 hour security in some of the very critical ATMs. So those things are being done. But as I said, um, in the in the electronic channels, none of them is physical. It's all virtual. And so that is something that we're very comfortable about because we've not seen anything on the systems. That's it. Thank you.